guys, welcome back to my channel and today we are going to learn how to make boxing game on scratch. At the end of this video, you are going to be able to make a game just like this one. Let's get started. On this video, we are going to work with three things, and that is the countdown sprite, the player walk system and the punch system, and also the enemy walk system and the punch system. So the first step on making this game is the countdown sprite, okay? So to make the countdown sprite, just add a one green flag, just click it block over here, okay? And then wait one second. Hold up. Yeah. And then it will broadcast new message and it's called countdown. Countdown. Now, when I receive countdown, it will so it's costume to glow G and then it will repeat four times at the repeat block four times it will go to looks next costume and then it will go to X 200 and Y 70 and then it will show don't forget to add a show block after it show it will glide one second to X 0 okay and then for the beeping sound, add an if then else block. So if costume number equals 4, if costume number equals 4, it will start sound sensor beep 4. If the costume number is not 4, then it will start sound sensor beep 1. Okay? And then it will wait the weight block it will wait 0 0.8 seconds and then it will glide one second to x negative 200 and y is still 70 okay and then it will go to x 200 and y 70 again after that it will hide okay let's give it a test click on the green flag So as you can see, the countdown sprite move really slow. To make it move faster, you can change the seconds, uh, the length of the gliding, okay? So I'm just going to change it into 0.1 seconds and this one too. Let's give it a test again. As you can see, it, it is moving very fast and perfect okay now go to events and at the end of the string at the end of the repeat block add a new message broadcast new message and it's called start okay and then when I receive start it will hide okay Let's give it a test again. That works perfect. That works perfectly, okay? On to the next step. So the next step of making this game is uh, coding the player, okay? So to start with the player, when green flag is click it it will switch costume to costume normal and it will go to x negative 108 and y is negative 60 okay after that add a when i receive start block over here and then go to controls and add a forever block so if wait 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 
add an if then else block okay over here and also add an if block here if then block here okay and then uh, when he right arrow is pressed and then if touching the enemy add a repeat block repeat 10 times add a change x block so if you're touching the enemy if the player is touching the enemy while it's moving then it will not move it cannot move uh, towards the enemy and if it's not touching the enemy it will move but repeat 10 times and change x by 5 let's give it a test click on the green flag okay when i press the right arrow it will move uh, to the right side of the screen but when it's touching the enemy it cannot move again because we code it over here okay and then duplicate this code so if left arrow key is pressed and if we cannot uh, use the touching block again so add a less than block so if x position is less than uh, negative 165 add an x position block over there it will repeat 10 times and change x by 0 so it cannot move uh, uh, to the left screen so if it's not the x position is not less than negative 165 then it will change x by negative 5 which make it move to the left side of the screen let's give it a test okay as you can see every time i'm pressing the right arrow it will move right every time i'm pressing the left arrow it will move left but as you can see it cannot move farther to the left side of the screen because we killed it see okay now we are going to work with the player punching system to start just add a when i receive start block again after that go to consoles and add a forever block over here so if key wait give me a second so if key a is pressed and if the costume number equals to costume number one add the costume number block it will go to looks and add a go to front layer block over here and then a switch costume to punch block over here after that go to events and then it will broadcast a message and it is called punch after that it will wait 0.1 second and then it will switch costume to normal again after that it will, it will wait another 0.1 second like that and then duplicate this code so if key D is pressed and costume number is 1 so just delete this block and then add a repeat until block over here so it will repeat and it will repeat until add a not block over here repeat until key D is not pressed again key D is not pressed so it will switch costume to block it will block the attack and then when the D, D key is not pressed again it will switch costume to normal let's give it a test see when uh, I press the A key it will punch 
which will switch costume to the punch costume okay when I press D it will switch costume to the defend costume this costume will block the attack okay so we just finished the player walk system and the punch system so the next step is making the enemy walk system and punch system on to the next step so the last step is making the enemy walk system and punch system so the enemy is a robot just say it's the bot so to code it just add a when reflex click it block and then it will switch costume to normal and then it will also go to x108 and y negative 60 okay and then go to even when i receive start go to controls and add a forever block so uh, make a new variable and it's called move num the num uh, represent number okay so when green flag is click it set move num to zero and when i receive start set move num to zero and then forever set move num to pick random from one to four and then if move num equals one hold up it's lagging so if move num equals 1, go to my blocks and make a new block, okay? It's going to be mm, move right 1, okay? Move right 1. So if move num equals 1, then it will move right 1. And then go to controls add a repeat block repeat 20 times okay repeat 20 times add an if then block so if wait 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 so if the x position is larger than 170 if x position is larger than 70 170 it will change x by 0 and also that will stop this script okay stop this script so but if it's not uh the, if the x position is not bigger than 170 then it will change x by pick random from 4 to 6 okay and then duplicate this code so if move number equals 2 then it will make a new block and it's called move left 1 so when if move number equals 2 then it will move left 1 okay move left 1 means that it will repeat 20 times either repeat 20 times block so duplicate this code put it here so if touching the player if the enemy is touching the player it will change x by 0 and stop the script but if uh, if it's not touching the player it will move change x by negative 6 pick random from negative 6 to negative 4 okay like that and then duplicate this code too just put it here first so if move number equals 3 then it will make a new block move right 2 okay so if uh, move number equals 3 then it will move right 2 for the move right block uh, just duplicate this code and put it here this time it will repeat only 10 times okay we are going to do the same thing to when the move num equals 4 so when move num equals 4 then it will move left 2 okay hold up it will move left 2 okay 
put it in the forever block. So move left 2 means just duplicate this code, put it here. It is going to do the same thing as the move left 1 but this time it's going to repeat only 10 seconds, okay? Let's give it a test, click on the green flag. As you can see the enemy is now moving. But as you can see the enemy is moving very fast with no breaks. Every time it finishes one move, it will continue next move, the next move. So stop the program and then add a wait block. We're going to wait pick random too, so the player won't guess how long it will take. Wait, uh, pick random from zero seconds to one second. Click on the green flag again. As you can see. Every time it finishes a move, it will stop, and the uh, player is confused. What will the next move be? Why is it stopping? So this will totally confuse the player. So the enemy also have a chance to win, okay? And then, we are going to work with the enemy punch system, okay? So to make the enemy punch system, just go to events and add a when I receive start block, okay? So when I receive start, add a forever block. Oh yeah, don't forget to make a new variable. And it's called A or D. So this, uh, the A represents attack or defend. So set attack or defend to zero. Also when the flag is clicked, set attack or defend to zero. And then Mm, it will forever set attack or defend to pick random from 1 to 2 pick Random from 1 to, to 2, okay? And then So repeat and repeat block at a repeat block. So it will repeat pick random from 1 to 3 And an if then block so if A or D equals one it will switch costume to punch okay and then go to even and then it will broadcast new message called enemy punch enemy enemy punch after that it will wait 0 0.1 second 0.1 seconds and then it will switch costume to normal and then it will wait another 0.1 second 0.1 seconds okay and then add another if then block over here so if attack or defend equals 2 Just stop the program first so as i was saying if attack or defend equals 2 it will watch costume to block it will wait pick random from pick random from 0 0.5 seconds to 0 0.75 seconds okay and then it will switch costume to normal again switch costume to normal like that so let's give it a test click on the green flag so as you can see what we made today which is the countdown work perf works perfectly and the uh, player moving system is working perfectly it can punch it can defend and the uh, enemy AI is also punching walking and defending uh, in a random way okay so yes, this is just the part 1 of the video of the how to make the game. So stay tuned for part 2 of this video. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye.